Bodie here coming to you from SV Intention in Bodrum. Had a lot of progress on a lot of things. Up this boat is turning into a complete refit. Hull, top sides, deck, house, engine room. So Dede and Hassan are Dede not wasting I. any time. <laughs> They're here tearing this engine out. Yeah. We're removing the engines. <laughs> engine and generator. Pulling the engine out, man. Pulling the generator out. I'm gonna clean the engine compartment, repaint it. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> My engine is flying in the air! <laughs> Wow, wicked! Look at this engine room. Whoa, everything's gone. Complete. The boat is being stripped. Taking all of the sides off so they can paint. You hear that? That's the guy sandblasting everything. Look at this. Gonna look awesome. All of this is the, the window here. And then here, it's black paint. You gotta paint the black, tape it, and then paint the white. Thanks, man. Looks great. It's a lot of work. I know. This here, I wanna, I wanna cut it so that it's lower, so the water drains out. And this one over here. All right, so here's my main mass and they're cranking away on doing all this Filling and patching and making it nice and smooth. Uh, tomorrow we will make the final coat. This is primer? Yes, two coats of primer already done now. Oh. So I'm trying to rebuild these further motors. There's three of them. And of course, you know, things are corroded and it's never the same twice. So oh, here I'm in the back of the shop going back and forth between the online and what I see here in reality. I'm trying to get this cap off and of course rule number one, don't break anything. So the motor came out okay, but if anything breaks, it's really hard to replace or expensive. So this little bastard didn't want to come off, so dede has got other ideas. And see the little bearing down and it seems like it should come off. It doesn't want it. Get them out or break them. Uh oh, uh oh. So, this is the uh, chip furler. I'm gonna replace the bearing. This is inside. There's a monster bearing in here. I'm gonna replace that one. Gotta bring that to a guy and have him press it out. This had a lot of rust on it, which was kind of surprising since this is basically a sealed unit. But this guy was in really good shape. Seems to be good. So, awesome. Maybe. A couple people were asking me about the motors. So getting the motor off was a pretty straightforward proposition. Getting this off of the furler, which we had to drill out the holes. You know, it was tight. It was stuck in there. Getting this thing off of the rest of the motor 
was difficult and we had to use a, a gear puller. This bad boy, everything's being painted. And, and what we're doing is we're replacing all the bearings. So this thing is sandblasted and ready for painting. These, unfortunately, have a little bit more corrosion on them. We got at this maintenance just in a nick of time. You know, you don't want to go any longer than we went, or these things would have been goners. Excellent. That's great. About eight more coats and we'll be good. Here's all the parts for my motor. They've been painted, primer coated, boom furler, the, the boom outhaul. There's my jib furler casing. Look at this mess of parts in here. Oh my gosh, this is all from the all the rigging and everything off of the boom. That's going to be quite a Lego puzzle to get back together. The next thing is going to be rebuilding and cleaning these guys. There's this one. I guess this is the main furler. And then this guy is the jib furler. And it's okay. I can hear it. But I, I definitely want to rebuild it. I don't know. I think maybe some of those... Some of the ball bearings in there, I think, are toast. Furler apart. So you had it, there was a little C clip inside there that was really yeah. hard to get. Yeah. You got all the balls, and they're made of what? Toron. Toron. So I guess we don't, don't need any new ones. No, we don't need them. There's another one. And this is our genius at work, Hassan. <laughs> He is absolutely fantastic on work on the engine room. I'm so happy and he lets me work with him. He doesn't get too annoyed. We're replacing all the seals that we can think of and find, all the hoses, new timing belts, which I've been told now is kind of expensive. Here's the water pump that I replaced last summer that caused us to uh, be adrift in the middle of the Ionian Sea on our way to Greece. That was a fun little deal. Hey, Aaron, what are you doing? I'm moving the boat. <laughs> Why would you possibly think that <laughs> we would need to oar our way to Greece? Because <laughs> we're going in circles and we're not moving. We're up to three knots now. Now we're moving. It's because of me, you know that. <laughs> it's clear that I am the one who got us up to three knots. <laughs> um, as you can see, Morale is still high. We're still laughing about the whole situation. It's just delirium. <laughs> and we're going to replace the seals. So this is a cleaning job, really. We're going to pull the injectors. Here's my engine. It's been all sandblasted, ready to be painted. Sitting, it, it looks like an old engine that's going to be thrown away at this point, doesn't it? It just looks terrible. Okay, that is pulled all the injectors. Had them adjusted. Now we know that our injectors are good. Anyway, I'm going to be gone for three weeks now. I'm going to come back, and this is going to be in the boat. Here's my little transmission gearbox, getting ready to be painted. Boy, oh, a lot of dissimilar metals there. Look what happened to this. This is aluminum coolant box that salt seawater goes in there to cool off the gearbox. Man, it got some little corrosion going there. <laughs> I'm not sure that's the super pro way to do it. <laughs> so here's our monster sea drive, sail drive. The whole sea drive is sitting out here on my bench floor, and these are the dogs that are going to get replaced. They look absolutely fine. They've got about 1,700 hours on them. These are in perfectly good shape, but I just bought four new ones anyway. It's 100 bucks for some good peace of mind, because this is never going to come apart again in my life. Hassan is a genius. He looked at him and went, this is not done right. How do you line it up when it's in the engine? So he came up with a new design. So here Attila and, or, and Hassan explain how the coupling goes together. We're going to 
we're going to modify their design so that you can attach this to the C drive first before you yes. put it in. That eliminates the problem everyone else has had yeah. of aligning it and doing all yeah. that crap. Excellent. You just put this all together and it's in there with set screws. Yeah. Put a hole in this on the side. Yeah, like this. With the Allen hat. Yeah. But smaller than that. Yeah, of course. It can be tiny. Well, maybe six millimeters. This will so be. So we're going to attach this to the C drive first, yeah. and it's then it's fixed, and you have to worry about it. Then once you put it in, you can just spin this a little bit, line up the bolts with the other engine, and bolt it together, no problem. That's it. Much exactly. better design. Yeah. So Hassan's going to drill new holes in my coupling. Here's our poor little Onan, which has been running great, no problems, but we want to keep it that way, and this kind of corrosion is not good. You can actually see down in there the uh, zinc or the anode here, which I didn't replace and I worried about it all summer, uh, thinking I haven't replaced that anode, that's not going to be good. Uh, I think this might actually be another one here. But anyway, you know, it's a replace hoses, check the exhaust elbow, things that have caused other people a simple Maintenance have caused the whole engine to die on other people. It's painted. You guys did a great job. Is it wet? I don't want to try it. <laughs> this is the first coat. Second coat will be much lighter. Now it makes my yellow wall look really ugly. Yes. <laughs> Let's stop in some point. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> so you got to draw a line somewhere, and I think that's it right there. Pulling the engine. Be better with the roller. Uh huh. With the roller. If we spray all the yeah. inside, will be painted. Man, this engine room looks great. Now we gotta just keep it that way. I know. We'll put Eric Vaughn on it. Eric Eric Vaughn on a boat reminds me of. Have you ever seen the movie Wall-E? Okay, so in the movie Wall-E, there's this little robot whose job it is to clean stuff. He like runs around and goes, doo -doo 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 -doo, and cleans things up. <laughs> That's Eric. Put him on that, man. This thing will stay spotless. He's awesome. So if you watched the episode with Family Adrift, and those guys are so totally cool. I totally dig their vlog about the family, especially the little kid with the glasses. I just think he's adorable. But anyway, you saw them doing this job. Nasty! We did it a little differently though. We used the Hoover. Okay. This is the job that gets the award for the shittiest job on the boat. <laughs> Poor Hassan is down there cleaning up the crap in the bilge. That is so nasty! Oh! Oh, I can't. I can't even. See, look at this. Oh, it's disgusting! The smell of it is unbelievable. Oh my god. That is disgusting. That is... So, there's my new grounding strap. Yay! With the multi-connectors. These are the good people on Family Adrift. And I'm very happy that I finally finished a project. It's the little things that can sink a boat. This little bad boy is the shutoff valve that lives at the bottom of my 600 liter fuel tank. And the handle was broken off. You know, your life depends on this handle and they make it out of the thinnest little piece of aluminum in the world. Anyway, when I bought the boat, this was already broken, sailed all the way across the med knowing that I effectively could not shut off my fuel supply if this valve should for some reason break or the fuel line down there should somehow break we'd have to get somebody down there to hold their finger over the end of the tube replaced it and so now not only can I shut off the fuel I have the Amel shut off from within the boat so pretty psyched about that emptying the fuel tank because we're gonna change that valve that's broken all right here we are I'm going right down and get into the fuel tank This is the old one. The new one. Okay, go ahead. Ah, look at that. Woo wee, <laughs> baby. Emergency shut off now operational. Yes. This little guy is the switch sump 
and it's been working fine, but when I took this apart, I noticed that it's held together by little strings. No wonder there was a spare one. The new pump going. Bring it up, put a new switch, new switch in it. Close the top, close the bottom, goes off. Dated. <laughs> one more down. So that's the update. The boat's gonna continue to be worked on while I'm here in the States. And I look forward to getting back and putting the boat back in the water in May. And we're gonna have a great summer. So drop me a line, subscribe to my videos, see me on Facebook, and we'll talk to you later. See ya. That's it? Hi guys, good morning. Why are you so happy? Uh, I just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Woo, yeah. his, his Michelle is here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I just came from the airport. <laughs> <laughs>